I honestly really couldn't find much. So, uh, hopefully it runs a little bit better than it did yesterday and we can pretty much go from there too. So, what happened so far? We're currently on episode two. Um, John Adams, his daughter, she randomly, well, last, the night before she started going crazy and, uh, when she started going crazy, pretty much, we were like, nah, I'm not going to drink anymore. And the next thing you know, the next morning, she is found dead. First, we were placed under arrest, um, thinking that we were part of the culprits, but then we talked to this guy, who is the person that actually brought all of us here, uh, Mortimer, I think his name is, and, uh, he pretty much gave us, uh, I guess, amnesty, in a way, saying like water. he thinks that we're innocent, and, uh, he wants us to find the person that did it. We don't really have any suspects so far, so, uh, we're, we're literally starting the right after the purgatory. point of him saying, what is your I want you to find who that flight? is. When you're still like the so I guess let's grub, let's chat with this guy the worm before it's your eminence I imagine that you've heard the news about Miss Adams oh, what a tragedy my son how could uh, such a thing have happened that's exactly what I'm trying to find out did you notice anything out of the ordinary last night mm. I saw the young French soldier Bonaparte I believe hanging around near Miss Adams room but I would not want to get an innocent man into trouble, Louis. It's uh, probably nothing. Okay. Not to worry, Your Eminence. If he is innocent, then he has I nothing hate to fear. How? Do you know why Monsieur Bonaparte was hanging around her room like that? Oh, wait. Well, I wouldn't be surprised to learn that the dashing young soldier had become infatuated with a fragile young woman who looked bit lost. But I don't think he got a very warm welcome. Bonaparte and Adams? <laughs> but they didn't even know each other, did they? I couldn't say. I hate how the questions are formed as if um, like it's in your head. So like he's thinking, does he know why? Instead of saying like, do you know why? I hate how it doesn't like say what you're actually going to say or like something close to it. But if I were you, my son, I would talk to Monsieur Pell. You remember how violently he set upon Miss Adams. Oh, don't worry. He's on the list of suspects. I don't think he was the guy to do it. I think it was Napoleon Bonaparte. If it, it if it was a person that caused it, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. Uh, we did one other thing. We did get permission to go through people's rooms to find Second. information on them. So uh, I think he's gonna be in here probably. We'll go chat with him. As long as he doesn't punch me what in do the face again. What do you want from me, Greetings. It's fallen to me. Cut the crap. Get it's to the point. We both know why you're here. I'm and have you to talk, got anything dude. to tell me? What does it matter? It's too late anyway. Do what you have to do and get out. Hey, what up, Ben? All right, what, what's going on, Dev? Sorry. <laughs> it's never too late. Long sir. day. If you have something to say, now How you doing, is the man? time. You don't understand. Psychology is his vulnerability. Already written. I. It's over. Deb, Why you missed like the probably culprit? the best part last night. What is it that's already written? I'm not sure I follow you. No, you don't. I'm a bad. I am bad. Badass. <laughs> so last night we found a, a secret room the massacre that the had innocence, uh, a bunch of like materials with guests with like. Like a bunch of, uh, I guess, historic materials, like 
we found a sword that possibly belongs to like King Rubens. Arthur. Uh, there was a Bible written Rome by Judas. There was um, Pandora's box, supposedly. Um, a bunch of knives, like Records a of lot of ancient Notes intended for uh, the police, uh, memorabilia Paris. in a way. It's a list of people under surveillance in Paris. And there's some well-known names on it. Did I or did I say there would be secret rooms? Be yes, you did. <laughs> also, um, so we got invited after we found that room. We chatted with the the girl. Apparently, she has a twin sister, and long time ago, they uh, one of them stopped being themselves. So now they go by the same name. So they can be in two places at once, basically. Uh, and that's like her partner that she's working with, who also disappeared, similar to his mother. Um, after that, we went back to, we were going back to our room and uh, John Adams' daughter, uh, she invited us into her room and said it was something very urgent so we went in she tried getting us to drink like four times Guess my room on the third time bad. i i denied it and was like nope this is going too far because the guy started like freaking out next morning she was found dead so first we got arrested but then we brought we were brought to mortimer and he says i want you to find out who did this i trust you because of your mother basically so all uh, right have you finished <laughs> not with all the ladies i'd like you to answer a few questions Inviting you to the rooms <laughs> you enjoy hitting with women interesting let's get right to it are you exhausted you just encounter an immunity one effort point is locked what? elizabeth adams murderer that is for you to prove if i'm not oh. mistaken boy you weren't expecting me to do all the legwork for you, were you? Lazy man. He doesn't like that. Voice already made. I'd like to talk about the letter you're writing. What woman is it addressed to? Who says it's a woman? I'm not saying any more. There's no point you insisting. That's it? That's all he's gonna say? All right. Have you finished? Not quite. I'd like you to answer a few questions. Did you kill her? Goodbye, sir. We shall meet again. Probably. Just got back from basketball game, eating some Panda Express. How was your day? My day was pretty good. Um, it actually went by pretty fast too. I, I went, did some. Uh, laptop setups and stuff for work and then uh, went back and hung out had like three random spam calls come in in a row but then otherwise it was pretty quiet and cr pretty chill watched some XQC and then I left and now I'm home uh, I went to Chick-fil-a was doing a uh, uh, if you order through the app, you get one free uh, Nuggets so I ordered through the app and got my free nuggets on my lunch, which typically I don't take but Today I was like eh, I kind of want to waste some time so I did uh, There Good day this Pretty good though. I wish we had I wish Mr. I had Wilner, a Panda Express near me near me in particular But I don't think there is any room? I, I, no, no, I, nothing special. You ought to go back to your room, as Lord Mortimer asked you to. And may I know why you yourself are not in your quarters? For very sad reasons, sir, which only concern Lord Mortimer, the only person I'm accountable to. Oh, well, look at you. <laughs> The new right hand man. I see. I should leave. Chick fil A is under renovations. I, I got some panda. 
another Chick-fil-A, but I don't want to drive across town. We have two pandas in our area. Lucky. Oh, nice. Now we can go inside his room. Oh, wait. This isn't his room. Oh, this is the room with, uh... So this is the room that we went into last night. Is her body still in this room? Uh, yep. Yep. There it is. Yeah, I don't think there's any pandas by me. Why is there a pentagram? Dude, she was going crazy last night. She was like, I'm going to tell you about your mother and what she did to me. And then she was like, in order for me to tell you, I'm going to have to tell you, or you're going to have to drink with me. And it was like, after two drinks, like my guy was starting to get a little bit, like headaches and stuff. And at that point, I was like, nope, not doing it. It's not worth it. And walked out. There are numerous marks on the body. She must have fought like a lion. It couldn't have happened without a lot of noise. <laughs> like, wait. <laughs> also a number of old scars. Nah, dude, she was crazy. Like, actually crazy. I was just like... I got to the point where I was starting to say she, she wasn't even worth it. Kind of psychological trying suffering. to help. By trying to master the pain, they established their self-control. And then this happens, which she kind of expected was going to happen. But at least I, I wasn't found scarring like ah. in the same room. Scarring isn't very saying, good, oh, yeah, I blacked out from old cuts in the same room as somebody wakes up dead would not be a very good. uh Definitely would not be she had the something Amos good tattooed on her. The symbol of the living. She God. wasn't worth it. She wasn't Written in the language of angels. According to believers, it is rare for someone to know about symbols like this at her age. Unless her mother was a tutor. Ancient Greek. Let's see what it means. These are sacred chants intended to protect their bearer. I just from whom or from what? popular on R slash PC gaming. PC gamers in China are getting free porn games to encourage them to stay inside. Oh my god. <laughs> Interesting. Scarring. Ugh. Did we examine the scars? Scarring isn't very regular, but literally everyone is crazy in this case. Actually, though. Oh, we. I think we did. Meaning of scarring. Return to the body. Upper body. No fewer than nine wounds on the thorax. Did you hear about Japan's population? Is it decreasing sighted, because of things like that? Caused her death. Because I wouldn't be surprised. Wait, examine the... No oh, shoot. Nine wounds on the thorax with a lot of blood. On first sight, I'd say that's what caused her death. Oh. Some of these tattoos are veritable works of... What's that? The skin between her breasts is different. Bloody hell! This tattoo was drawn on a page of leather and stitched onto her skin. What? Probably during childhood. If the scars are anything to go by. It's... The same kind of tattoo is on the rest of her body. Teens aren't partaking in the growth of society, wink wink. So they're paying people to go on dates, the government is. <laughs> I believe it. Blood on the right Japan hand. gets down a different way. The left, except that tattooed <laughs> this pinnacle's a trap. The Do you though? The pinnacle thought that they were protected from evil. By surrounding it inside the different circles of the pinnacle. Blood in the legs. A trace of blows on the legs. Sexual assault. Oh no, we can't do either. More tattoos. Similar to those on the rest of her body. <laughs> Dude, I can't wait to go to Japan someday. Hopefully someday. 
clock stopped at 354. If it was smashed during the murder, then I've just established the time of the crime. It's trying to travel. I was kind of in that move today, too. Dear Elizabeth. Um, where, like, like, some of uh, uh, the job that I have now, a lot of people, like, travel for work. Like, go to different sites and stuff, and, uh... Um, plate is short and thin. Well, one of the guys is going to Texas next week, and I'm kind of like, man, I wish I could go. The lower part of the handle is unsullied by blood. The murderer gripped the weapon so tight. It'd be so no nice there too. It. The handprint indicates a small and slender. Hand. <laughs> Come to Texas for real. He's going to uh, San Antonio, I think it is. Knocked over a bottle of wine. That's by me. <laughs> Elizabeth serving last night. Still just as disgusting. Well, I won't be going, but maybe one day if we have any clients in Texas. What I did I just get? I just got a. Is this dialogue timer right, is hidden? It's undrinkable. How did I just get intoxicated? Did I drink it? Vials of laudanum. Take a look the at the vials. This laudanum comes straight from America. I wonder if Washington's involved. Just because something's from America does not mean that the person that's from America is involved. What type of logic is that? The blood spatter indicates that the murder must have held Elizabeth upright during the attack. Even if Elizabeth wasn't very big, I. I doubt she wouldn't have put up a struggle. It takes tremendous strength to overpower someone like that. <laughs> I wouldn't care, honestly. Um. Pentagram. What the hell's been going on here? I forget what I was gonna say. Contrary to what most people believe, the pentagram's not there to conjure up. I don't know what evil or demonic creature. I have the real one. Top. Give me one day. an ancient symbol of protection against evil. Uh, Texas is one of the places the that ship. I would move to. Could Elizabeth have been sacrificed? Especially with all that Google, Google, Google fiber. <laughs> um, the places mostly I would move to: Florida, Arizona, Pistol? Texas. Fairly new, I'd say. Why? Fairly light. Why, if I was rich? And had a lot of money. A tribute uh, the and the, the rest, of just if I got a job in those areas. Hmm. There's a few dried traces of blood on the grip. Difficult to know for sure how they got there. People always come here, and I wonder why. It's there's a lot of well stuff. The barrel is pretty um, clean. It pretty is good. And, and there's no traces of gunshot. The three residue. states I fit in I the the best it too. Hasn't been used recently. Right. Like, I shall have to find its owner. All right. Uh, Do more love thing. It. Notebook. Whoa. Written in Elizabeth's handwriting. It is written in a mix of several looks Translates like the text. Of Latin and Anglo-Norman. It is difficult to make sense of this jerky writing. I can make out some passages though. Okay, one sec. I need to go open the door and let my uh, girlfriend and dog in. So, I will be right back. Is Death has come to finish me off. I've just run into her son. That was her last entry. What tortured writing. A novel of the initiate. Hey, a Russian ruble. I wonder what it'd be worth today. <laughs> a Russian ruble. 
Has Sam finished with this room? No, I haven't gone over everything yet. Uh, sir may take his time. When Sam would like to leave, so does Sam need to tell me. I hate how they say that. When Sir has Sir, why can't you just say my name? Piece of fabric. High quality at that. I'd say it's silk. Going by the texture and the gray hue, it must come from a, a dress, that kind that women of quality wear. Ah. It's a travel dress. The silk has been lightly waxed to protect it from bad weather. Okay, boomer. The very Sir. woman who came <laughs> up with the idea. Sir. Given all the traveling she does. My mother. God help us. Why did she come here in the first place? The material appears to have undergone abnormal wear and tear. She must have been scouring the countryside, and that doesn't look good. Hmm. 3rd of November. Oh wait, there's a bunch of August letters. 20, June 11. Did we view everything? I think we did. Poor girl bled to death. We don't look much better than her. Boats for feet. That's at least a size 15. Where's a size like that here? Peru? Washington, maybe. Hmm. Alright, I think we've seen enough here. Has uh, finished. I know enough room? now. Yes. Thank you. Very well, sir. Sir, may I return whenever need be. I shall guard the door. Thanks. Okay. Let's see if we can find Washington. President George Washington. Oh, here he is. He has the closest room. Also, I think he has the nicest. Oh my gosh. Devil's Thorn. I'll keep it. Ah, oh, really? Shoot. Golden Elixir. Damn. I should have used that last one to try to get the, uh... My dear George. It looks like a note between Emily and Washington about trade deals. To cipher the letters. Damn. Oh wait, I think I can. So long as I use this. Or was it? Right here? It looks like a note between Emily and Washington about trade deals. Yeah. The English and the Americans are preparing a peace treaty. It would appear that Emily <sighs> Look for is one of those peepholes since his room is next to hers. <laughs> the United States and England. If such an arrangement came into being, France would suffer dearly. My dear George. My dear George. I'm investigating his room before I go chat with Portrait him. Portrait of George Washington. Some right here. I think, is it the... Here's ne negative alterations, okay. Yeah. I think yeah, we can restore one more. And then use two. Yeah, and that cures all that, sweet. That's good. Greetings, Liam. Would you want to meet George Washington IRL? Dude, that would be amazing. Of course. Yeah. Lord I would love to meet him. ask you a few questions about last night. It's... How am I going to tell Elizabeth's father that she's dead? I know, Mr. President. I shall endeavor to find out the truth about this tragedy. I must ask you to help me, though. Please. Find the degenerate pig who did this, Louis. Let me get a character. It, no. Journal. George Washington. 
be discovered. Tell me, Mr. President, had you spoken to Elizabeth since your arrival? You know her father. You thought she was dead. No, I didn't. And I hate I how his eye is still like bloodshot. To my grave. I, <laughs> I hope that to, eventually goes I away, honestly. You can't blame yourself. You, well, you couldn't have known that her days were numbered. Were you aware that Elizabeth took laudanum? Yes. She came to ask me for My friend is yelling at me about Overwatch, so I'm gonna lurk for a bit. Okay, sounds good. Much love. I'll be here. Did he know why? Does he take a lot? Did she tell you why she was so desperate to get some, Mr. President? She said she had terrible migraines that wouldn't go away. More likely for the voices she heard, not the migraines. I'm talking to all the guests to find out who has an alibi and, well, who doesn't, Mr. President. Can you tell me what you were doing last night so that I can strike your name off the list? I spent the night right here, reading. All night? Exactly. Emily stopped by in the middle of the night, you can ask her. She wanted to talk about some business we have in common. Anything whatsoever to do with Elizabeth? Not at all, Louis. A business matter. Do you know if she had any enemies, Mr. President? Not that I know of. I heard about her altercation with Mr. Perry, but that case was closed, if I'm not mistaken. But if in doubt, I wouldn't leave any door unopened, and I'd go and question your fellow countrymen. Don't worry. Countryman or not, I'm not letting anybody slip through the cracks. Do you know why she came to the island? To get help, if I'm not mistaken. Isn't that right? Indeed. Sir Gregory suggested to her father that he introduce her to Lord Mortimer hmm. to see if he could help her. Yes, Lord Mortimer has a talent for healing, apparently. I'm not surprised Sir Gregory advised her to come. Agreed. Mr. President, we found a footprint at the scene of the crime. Uh, it doesn't look not like a his. dress shoe, I hope. That's all I wear. No, rest assured. It looks like the print of a big ankle boot. A large size, I'd say. Perfect. That should help you, Louis. It's a clue. Alright, but to be honest, in order to not rule him out, he could just honestly wear a giant boot and be like, well, obviously I don't wear those, so it couldn't have been me. But anybody could do that, you know. So. Gotta leave all options open. Monsignor is Eminence Cardinal Piaggi. We can't explore his room. Huh, that's me. Can't do our own room. <laughs> Duke Manuel Godoy. Where's Napoleon's room? Duchess Emily Hillsborough. Gotta be coming up. Monsieur Napoleon Bonaparte. There it is. Nice. Okay. Hannibal crossing the Alps. Another military success. The Prince by Machiavelli. A perfect read for anyone with a surfeit of ambition. Hmm. That might come in handy. Ooh. His immunity is po politics, right? I think it was at least. Napoleon, where is he at? Uh, Bonaparte. Immunity to politics. Is he in here? He's not in. Oh, there he is. He's in the corner. My dearest son. French actor Talma is near. Nice. Damn. Yes. Is Max effort point is increased by one. 
my dad. There's just one holster in Bonaparte's gear, and the pistol is missing. On the other hand, his cleaning equipment is in mint condition. That's typical of the soldier in him. Damask blade. It's marked with the initials of the manufacturer. Of Monsieur de Richer, please be quick. We are both very busy. What? Someone saw you not far from the victim's room. Can you tell me what you were doing exactly, please? I can tell you that someone is an idiot. I wanted to warn her to be careful. You see, on the night of my arrival, I saw someone leaving her room in haste. And I wanted to speak to her, to warn her. Unfortunately, that was George lady Washington. slipped through my fingers each time. Now I know why. She had every reason to be worried. What an idiot I was not to insist. I could have helped her. I've been studying him for a while now, and I don't think he was lying. Yet, I'm surprised how easy it was for me to read him. Must surely be his military side. Hmm. I wish they all could be like that. My investigation would be finished already. As any good soldier would, I imagine you own a firearm. May I see it? Oh, well, if you, you really want to, here is my pistol. Don't worry, it is not loaded. Do you have several of these? In Corsica, oui, but not on me when I am traveling. Only a bandit would carry such an arsenal. Thank you. Did you hear about young Elizabeth? Indeed. It is deeply regrettable. Lord Mortimer asked I know. me to... You no doubt want to know my alibi. I spent the night downstairs playing cards. What time did the game end? I can't say exactly. As for me, I must have stayed until midnight. I was exhausted, couldn't think straight, so I preferred to go up to bed. On your way up to bed, did you notice anything out of the ordinary? No, not in the least. The whole manor was sound asleep. Not really, no. Can you tell me who was present at the game, please? Well, there were Lord Mortimer, President Washington, and Sir Gregory. That's Thank a lie. You. Ah! And his eminence, Piaget, as well. Excuse me, I George Washington said he was reading his book all night. Did any of you leave during the game? Unless if he Not says. Not that I know of, monsieur. I didn't exactly spend my time noting the other guests' comings and goings, but I don't think so. Thank you. Oh, shoot. Did you hear about young Elizabeth? Indeed. It is deeply regrettable. Lord Mortimer asked me to... I know. You no doubt want to know my alibi. I spent the night downstairs playing cards. Did you notice anything unusual during the evening? Nothing at all. Except the luck of the devil of Lord Mortimer and Sir Gregory at cards. Did they win much? Oh, la la, monsieur, they cleaned us out more like. But I plan on getting it all back before we leave. Well, right. have we finished, monsieur? Exactly. Thanks again for all your answers. Good day. I think right now he's a prime suspect. He's playing it off pretty good. Jacques Peru. Yeah, let's try to talk with Peru once one more time. All right. Have you finished? Not quite. I'd like you to answer a few questions. Your boot. I know you were at the scene. We will save a lot of time if you just tell me what happened. You know nothing at all. Enlighten me then. For now, 
I have your footprint in a pool of blood. That's right. The only thing you can prove is one of my boots was at the scene. Congratulations. You've wrapped up the investigation. That's pretty, like... What? All right. Have you finished? Not quite. I'd like you to answer a That's few questions. That's pretty condemning. If we literally say... You were armed the night of my arrival. Your boot. Can I see your weapon? No. You do realize you're not helping, don't you? You're making it worse for yourself. Goodbye, sir. We shall meet again. Probably. I don't think he did it, but it's still a pain. <sighs> okay. I guess we'll go downstairs. Uh, can't go back down. Maybe this side? No. Who is this? Duchess Emily Hillsborough. Oh, we can go in her room now. She wasn't in here earlier. I don't know why, but this seems like a good game to to follow a guide. It's kind of a lot you can do. Grammar of Pohayal. Ah. The artistry of the French language and all its splendor. Whoever masters French commands the world. At nice. least une partie of it. I like how we're finding a lot of books because that'll come in handy when uh Whenever we finish this quest, the younger, oh, there's something on the ground. A Greek drachma. One of the rare ancient coins to be mentioned both in the Bible and Queen Charlotte. A letter from William Pitt the Elder addressed to Emily. He was the English Prime Minister. This letter dates from 15 years ago now. Madam. <laughs> Who's that? What can I do for you, Louis? I've come to see you about last night's tragedy. Did you hear anything about what happened to Elizabeth? Yes, we all did. Rumors spread quickly, you know. How awful. I didn't know her well, but I hope at least the poor thing didn't suffer too much. Eh, uh, she definitely didn't. But... Death came quickly. You can be assured of that. If such a senseless act can happen here, then none of us is truly safe anywhere. Lord Mortimer must be mortified that one of his guests could have committed such an act. Don't you think? He is indeed very upset about it. It's only natural after such a violent murder. Violent? What do you mean? Elizabeth was stabbed nine times. Oh my god, Louis. How awful. The murderer must have had a serious grudge against her to set upon her like that. It must have been a crime of passion. Do you know what happened exactly? In fact, Lord Mortimer has asked me to look into this case, Emily. Really? Are you Lord Mortimer's snoop now? I'm doing it for Elizabeth, not to please Mortimer. Good for you. Quite right, too. Have you found out anything? It could have been her. I'm now interviewing all the guests to establish the alibis for each person. Just so that I can cross you off the list of suspects. Just because she seems the most we unlikely the night of the to do it. Am I given to understand that I'm on the list of suspects? You Don't are in my head. Way, but I must consider every possibility. Well, if you absolutely wanted to be sure of my activities that evening, you only had to join me, you know. I know, Emily. Especially since I couldn't prevent the murder, even though I spent part of the evening with Elizabeth. You... You're sure it's not too hard to bear for you? The fact is, I don't have a choice. But I will find the murderer. I owe Elizabeth that, at least. Since your arrival, did you notice anything strange about Elizabeth? Everything that happened around that poor child was strange. You saw that for yourself. I know. Yeah, You're right. Definitely did. I'm looking for leads to try to reduce the number of suspects. Well, I would say that in addition to ourselves, you could also cross off President Washington. I went to see oh him during gosh. the night. I had some business with him, and I can confirm that he didn't leave his room all night. Hmm. Oh, there we Mike go. Is Washington an alibi? Yep. So he was right. 
or she was right. So Napoleon 100% is lying because he said, speak to her piece of fabric. Correspondence arrangements with Washington. Tell me, Emily, what's the nature of your relationship with Washington? Oh, come off it, Louis. You're not going to go into a jealous rage, are you? No, I can assure you of that. That has nothing to do with it. You're preparing a treaty to break the ties between the United States and France. Whatever are you talking about, Louis? I read your correspondences, Emily. It's not what you think. So don't go thinking there's anything personal in it. Are you trying to break Franco-American agreements, Emily? That's the job, Louis. We're all doing everything we can to serve the best interests of our nation. It's got nothing to do with you or us. But why didn't you tell me about it before? Would you have told me? I hear you were in discussions with the Holy See. Oh. Either his eminence can't keep his tongue from wagging, or you've been poking your nose where you shouldn't, sir. Even so, Emily, you're raising a royalist army. That's no small matter. And you are straying from the subject. Is there anything else you wanted to ask me? What? I'm asking you We things. found the murder weapon. What is it? A dagger. Quite slim. Have you found its owner? Not yet. Still searching as it happens. That said, since a blade penetrated the body several times, the murderer's hand will have been covered in blood. Mm. You think that's a clue? The handprint was a very slender hand, Emily. Probably that of a woman. Do you realize what that means? There are only three of us on the island. Bearing in mind that neither my sister nor myself had any reason to set upon the young lady, that means... I know, Emily. I know. Keep up your courage, Louis. I'm sure there's an explanation. You're bound to shed some light on it all. If what you say is true, Emily, I'm less and less enthusiastic about shedding any light on the subject. The I fabric. found a torn piece of dress in Miss Adams' room. Gray silk. Where's it from? That's what I'm trying to find out. The color doesn't match any of Elizabeth's dresses, but I might not have found all of her clothes yet. Good Lord, Louis, I... Do you realize what this means? If this piece of dress isn't from Elizabeth, then it's... I don't have any grey silk dresses, Louis. Neither does my sister, since we wear the same clothes. Yeah, that's exactly what I wanted to check with you. I'm so sorry, Louis. I mean, that, Thank you. that holds you just right? as much weight you know, as I'm sure there's a good George Washington saying, I don't have any boots. Thank you, Emily. You know? I won't keep you, Emily. Thank you for answering my questions. See you, Louis. Okay. Where else do we go from here? We've literally questioned everyone. Duke Manuel Godoy. Other than him. And the other guy. Huh. That's me. Monsignor, his eminence, Cardinal Piaggi. Piaggi. Nobody is in there. President George Washington. We chatted with him a few times. Maybe we need to go back upstairs and, and tell the, the guy what we found so far. Oh, this is the murder room. There's the map to go upstairs. George Washington's room. Okay, Adams. George Washington, Pillsbury's mine, Bonaparte, and Peru's. Take that downstairs. What's down here? So, small salon, great hall of Zeus, or court, dining hall, library, portrait gallery. Okay. Think this takes you upstairs? Yeah, Mortimer's office. Okay. 
keep going straight and then if we turn right it'll take us up um who is this is he in here oh he is now okay sweet so one more guy we can question and then we can go upstairs the sorrows of young Werther. there's a handwritten text signed by von Werner on this first page mm -hmm. dear elizabeth I know that this book is but a small token compared to the delightful moments you gave me, but I hope that this will nonetheless keep the memory alive. Your ever obedient servant. So, Volner had a relationship with Elizabeth, but that's hardly surprising given his fondness for the occult. Chest locked with a four letter code, surely a word close to the owner's heart. I poo. Difficulty six. Pog, I pog. That's it. I don't know. Just curious. Oh, I know we're on episode two. Yeah, a guy doesn't really help, honestly. Because there's so many different choices that can be made. Amber. Inventory full. Okay. A Greek drachma. One of the rare ancient coins to be mentioned, both in the Bible and in the Quran. What can I do for you? Dirty Standing shape. a little bit close. Monsieur, Lord Mortimer has appointed me to investigate the tragedy that befell us last night. Oh, yes. It's horrible. Yes. How can I help, monsieur? He has boots. And small hands. Where were you last night? In my room. I read a few ancient manuscripts before going to bed, but I didn't stay up long. I was tired. Thank you kindly. Excuse me for asking, but did you know Miss Adams? Oh, she... Uh, not really, to tell the truth. No. I found the Werther dedication, signed by your hand, monsieur. Would you like to change your version now? Be careful, Duriche. Don't push your luck. My relationship with Miss Adams was pure and has nothing to do with you 
will continue playing the detective as you see fit. But if I find the bastard who did that to Elizabeth, I will... Yes! I would have preferred a simple response, but I see I have my answer now. <laughs> oh man, there's a lot. Jeez. Uh, do we have anything on him? Like, what? On there? To be discovered. Shoot. Uh, psychology questioning. I get the impression psychology. that your romance was over. Am I right? So? What does it matter to you? I would never have attacked her, if that's what you're insinuating. Who put an end to the relationship? You or her? It was her. It was her. But what does that matter? We both agreed. Hmm. How long did it last? I don't really think that's gonna... Let's learn more about her tattoos. See how many tattoos Miss Adams had on her? Of course. Aha, uh -huh, diversion. Yes, but I'm sure that an expert like yourself must have an opinion on the subject. I do. But she was seeking to imprison something inside her. Her own body had become a sort of prison. She wanted to protect herself. Is that what you're saying? Elizabeth was a flame. A candle in the night. And like all candles in the night, she was surrounded by darkness, by her demons. Call it what you will. One thing is for sure. She struggled against hell and high water not to let her flame go out. Cool. We finished. I'll have a look around and then take my leave. Do whatever you have to do. I... I trust him. So far. He seemed pretty sincere. And he... Uh, he didn't really get over um like drastic about the questioning that I did so this terrifying <laughs> let me ask uh this guy what a tragedy my son how could uh, such a thing have happened that's exactly what I'm trying to find out did you notice anything out of the ordinary last night mm. I saw the young French soldier, Bonaparte, I believe, hanging around near Miss Adams' room. But I would not want to get an innocent man into trouble, Louis. It's probably nothing. But if I were you, my son, I would talk to Monsieur Perrault. You remember how violently he set upon Miss Adams. Oh, don't worry. He's on the list of suspects. I seriously think it was, uh, Napoleon. I keep forgetting about the whole... Dude, what's the one that we have? Inventory. Next skill use is free. Reveals the immunity isn't... Uh, shoot, I should have used that a few times too. My next conversation we're in, I need to use some of these. Hmm, which four-letter word could open this chest? Oh man. Arson. Definitely it. Alright. Next skill use is free. Let's use that. I've come to speak about the findings of the investigation, my lord. I'm listening, Louis.
Remind me of the facts we already know. I have clues, but prefer not to accuse anyone. Will you remind me of the facts we already know about? Elizabeth Adams was killed last night, but Piaggi was with Holm and I until late at night. As for Bonaparte and Washington, they left us after midnight, both tired. I'm sorry, my lord, but I don't have any evidence conclusive enough to allow me to name the culprit with certitude. Really? I see. Well, that's your decision, Louis, and I accept it. Given the distinguished guests and the sensitive political issues involved at the conference, I trust you'll leave me to conclude the case in my own way. Right. It's time we spoke about your mother, Louis. She seems to be making every effort to steer clear of your guests. What do you mean? For the past few weeks, my mother's been playing cat and mouse, if you will. I don't know why, but it wouldn't surprise me to learn that she's trying to avoid someone. The question is, who? And in your opinion, would she be the cat or the mouse? I want to say the mouse. I'd like to answer the cat, but unfortunately I'm increasingly worried that she's, in fact, the mouse. That doesn't make me feel any better, Louis. What was the official reason why my mother came to your island? I knew about your mother's activities and yours in the Golden Order. I thought we had everything to gain by working together. You mean the cannon deal with Monsieur Bonaparte? Among others, yes. How did you hear about that? Monsieur Bonaparte came to speak to me about it yesterday, during lunch. I see. So impetuous. He was supposed to let me speak to you about it first. Our friend Napoleon desperately needed financial backing to properly equip his army. I took it upon myself to back him because I have a firm conviction that he can go far. Yet he told me that you had spoken and that you hadn't been able to reach an understanding. Hmm. That's putting it mildly. Monsieur Bonaparte is one of those guys who only understands people who think like he does. Ah, I see what you mean. He is indeed rather inflexible when it comes to certain subjects. But I am still of the opinion that you can manage to get along. We shall see. However, there's one thing that surprises me. Did my mother intend to finance a war? I'm not sure that I follow. No. Your mother's aim was not so much to partake in a war, but rather to make Monsieur Bonaparte accountable. France is in turmoil, and having support of a military man can often come in handy, Louis. True. You'll see. Once this deal was closed, I had big plans for Sarah. Such as what? You see, I've invited several influential figures on my island to present them with a project at the conference. It will be presented later today. I thought that the Golden Order had a role to play. And I still think so. I was hoping Sarah would be able to join us. Hmm. I see. Indeed, if by chance your mother decided not to return to us before the conference, would you do me the great honor of attending? If only to follow the deliberations while waiting for her to duly take her seat. Why not? We shall see. Ah, thank you so much. In this way, you'll be able to keep your mother informed of what he said. Um, there's something else I'd like to briefly go over. Earlier, you asked me the official reason for your mother's presence here. Is there an off-the-record reason why your mother came here? If only my mother had trusted me, but she remained very mysterious. I'd have been delighted to answer your question. Is this usual for her? As head of the Order, secrets are her bread and butter, as you can imagine. That said, it's the first time she hasn't let me in on the reason for her trip. And it intrigues me, to tell you the truth. Well, I'm sure that Sarah will explain everything once she reappears. There's something okay. I still don't get. In your opinion, why would your mother remain in hiding over several weeks? 
she's wary of someone. She might have discovered something. Maybe she found something out. Yeah. What do you mean? My mother has a gift for investigating. If she had picked up a lead, nothing would have stopped her. The only thing I can tell you is that Sarah had indeed changed. At the beginning of her stay here, we enjoyed spending time together, solving the world's problems. You seem to know my mother very well, my lord. What did you talk about together? Oh, as soon as we had a little free time, we liked to share points of view about practically any subject. We would find ourselves embarked on interminable discussions that could go from Monsieur Blanchard's flight in a hot air balloon to the Treaty of Jesse, or the adoption of the metric system in France last year, or even Mr. Eli Whitney's invention in the United States. The armistice between the Russians and the Turks. Russia's come out of it having officially won Crimea, which gives it direct access to the Black Sea. And, at the same time, the Mediterranean Sea. I'm worried about the decisions Sarina Catherine might decide to take. She's a woman who managed to get rid of her husband to accede to the upper reaches of power. Gaining access to the Mediterranean Sea remains her main objective. When she still had that dear Potemkin as her lover, I could always find out about her intentions, but those days are over. You're speaking of Grigory Alexandrovich Potemkin? The very man. The little devil behind the mother of all Russians. Since his death, I know absolutely nothing of what the Tsarina is up to. Oh, really? Ah, yes. I didn't mean to shock you. Please forgive me. Let's just say that, in my position, it is often advantageous to know about the habits and customs of world leaders. I'm surprised she didn't get you started on the Crusades. It was her favorite subject. <laughs> Are you joking? Sarah and I spent entire days together reliving them. <laughs> it so happens that the Crusades are also my subject of predilection, especially the Third. My ancestor distinguished himself brilliantly during the Siege of saint jean dacre Uh, it's locked. Unfortunately, my lord, the Crusades are not my chosen field. Well, it doesn't matter. You have plenty of time to learn. Your mother is a very well-read woman. You're quite lucky to have her as a model, Louis. Yes, I know. But I'm still very worried. I must admit, there are worse things to worry about now, Louis. What do you mean? Since she disappeared, your mother has been seen once. Her yes, behavior yes. on the evening of your arrival yes, I did. greatly yeah, surprised back. Gregory and myself. She resurfaced to attack Emma, Emily Hillsborough's twin sister. And she shot her with a pistol. Then, before Gregory could intervene, she ran off and disappeared again. I beg your pardon? Hang on. That means my vision on the wharf. It it was actually happening inside the manor. Mother shot in on her sister? The very person she came looking for? Why would she do that? Excuse me, but between that and the childhood of Lady Adams, it's, it's all a bit much for me to cope with. I need to piece it all together again to see things more clearly. One of your games clearly. I've ever watched. Nice, You said dude. that you spent a lot of time <laughs> talking stuff. together at the beginning. What happened for that to change? I'm afraid I, I haven't much to tell you. The more the days went by, the yeah. more she withdrew into herself. It was the she girl's never gave me twin. Explanation. Until the day came when she purely and simply disappeared. Where, where did she go when she wanted to be alone? She would shut herself away in a room we use as a box room upstairs. W would you allow me to go there? Naturally, Louis, of course. I'll okay. send you a servant to open it. Thank you. That's all I can tell you about the disappearance of your mother, Louis. I would like to have been more helpful. The other I shall stay on twin, the trail she, she was in her room. Thank we, you. we talked to her. Uh, we will meet later and on she verified some stuff. Guest. In the meantime, I shall get someone to open the box room upstairs for you. Thank you. Those your questions to Mortimer. Hmm. All right, sweet. The room is just opposite Mortimer's study. 
just opposite of Mortimer's study. Where's that? Brew's room, Hillsbury. Second floor. Go to the tower room. First floor, garden, exterior, ground. Where's this study at? Like this room? Well, usually there's only one place we can go, so. Dude looks fancy, I like him. Yeah, he's pretty nice so far too. Each time we've talked to him. That's the stairs to go downstairs. Is it on this floor? That takes you up to the third floor. I could have sworn that he said it was like in the attic or something. Or maybe it's on this. Oh, wait, I might know. Yeah, we can't even go up there. Plato sees the villain. 